Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. Abert's Toey. Abert's Toeys are year-round residents in southern and western Arizona, barely reaching adjacent states. These birds like dense brush and cottonwood willow streamsides in the Sonoran Desert. Also look for them under dense bushes in residential areas. They spend much time on the ground scratching in the leaf litter for insect food. They are large sparrows, larger than house sparrows and white crowned sparrows. They are smaller than starlings and robins. They are quite plump with a large round head and full rounded tail. The pale pink bill is large and thick at the base but short. Birds are dusty brown with black on the face around the bill. They have dark cinnamon under tail coverts. Genders are identical. In your backyard, water is more important than seeds for attracting Abert's toeys. Gamble's quail. Gamble's quail are common birds in the southwestern desert. They are year-round residents from southeastern California to southwestern Colorado and western Texas and into western Mexico. These birds are found throughout the Sonoran Desert and adjacent areas of the Chihuahuan, Mojave, and Great Basin Deserts. They occur in mesquite and other brushy desert plants and cacti. They are most common in washes and river valleys and towns. They prefer to run rather than fly. Desert scrub can support a surprising number of these birds, even if you only see a bird or two standing sentry for the covey. Their loud calls are a common desert sound. These birds are large but short. Thus, they are only as long as a jay, but more like a crow in body mass. They are plump with a small head and very short tail. Both genders have forward curving set of feathers sticking up from the forehead. Bills are short and small. Birds are blue-gray above, including the breast and tail. The hind neck is scaled with thin, dark feather edges. They have a chestnut patch on their sides and a creamy belly. Females are duller and browner. Males have a black face lined with white, a chestnut crown, and a black central belly patch. These marks are lacking in the female. Gamble's quails are attracted to seed blocks, cracked corn, and water placed on the ground. Curve-billed thrasher. Curve-billed thrashers are common backyard birds in the southwest. These birds are year-round residents from Texas to Arizona and south into Mexico. They are found in thorn scrub and choya cactus deserts. They may even be more abundant in residential desert towns. Pairs mate for life. You may see them defending their territories year round, fighting and chasing. They forage on the ground using their long bills to thrash from side to side. These are fairly large birds, larger than American robins, shorter than morning doves. They are rather long bodied, but with a full chest. The head is large, the tail is long, full, and floppy. The bill is long, slender, and curved. The genders are similar in plumage. Birds in the Arizona part of the range are rather dark brown overall. Birds in the Texas part of the range have paler and lightly spotted underparts. They have pale orange eyes. They visit feeders and are fond of millet seed blocks, often just placed on the ground. White-winged dove. White-winged doves are large common desert doves. These birds are summer residents in the deserts from Southern California to Texas. They are year-round residents in Southern Florida, the Gulf Coast of Texas, the Big Bend area, and Southeastern Arizona, south through Mexico. They are found in desert scrub and thorn trees. Their migration is timed with the fruiting of the saguaro cactus in the Sonoran Desert, which they eat. They are common in desert cities and towns often near water. In the fall, individual white-winged doves may wander far to the north to surprise bird watchers at backyard bird feeders or hanging out on power lines. They are regular on the entire California coast, but have been found as far north as Alaska, Maine, Minnesota, and just about everywhere in North America. These are larger birds. They are plump, with small heads on thin necks and square-ended tails. The bills are thin and fairly long compared to other pigeons. These birds are rather pale gray-brown overall. They have a black mark on the side of the cheek. At close range, they show blue facial skin around an orange eye. 
Perched, they show a long sliver of white on the edge of the wing. When they take flight, the white wing crescents are very obvious against the dark flight feathers and brown wing coverts. Also obvious are the broad white tips on the dark tail. Genders are identical. White winged doves eat all kinds of seeds, corn, and nuts at your feeder. They will also appreciate water to drink. White Crown Sparrow White Crown Sparrows are large sparrows and fairly distinctive. These birds are summer residents in the boreal forests of Canada and Alaska and mountains of the west. There is even a year-round resident population in coastal California. In winter, these birds can be found across much of the United States except for northern parts of the Northeast, Midwest, and Great Plains. In summer, they are found in shrubby habitat and forest edges. In winter, they are found in roadside thickets, weedy fields, and suburban backyards. Across their range, they differ subtly in plumage. But even local populations have different song dialects that have been much studied. These birds are longer than house sparrows by about an inch, but have smaller heads and thinner bodies and longer tails. The bill is short and pointed with a wide base. The color of the bill ranges from dusky yellow to pink, depending upon population. The upper parts of some birds are light brown with dark brown back streaks. Others are brown with lighter gray streaks. Their neck and breast is gray, slightly paler on the throat. The flanks on some populations are dingy brown, cleaner gray on others. The wings are brown, showing thin white wing bars. The head is distinctively marked with black and white stripes. Genders are colored the same. At bird feeders, white crowned sparrows tend to eat smaller seeds, such as millet, spilled out on the ground. But they will eat from platform feeders and hopper feeders with wide trays. Anna's Hummingbird Anna's hummingbirds are the resident hummingbird on the west coast, remaining through the winter when all the other hummingbirds have migrated south. These hummingbirds are year-round residents from southern British Columbia south to southern California and Arizona. They live wherever winter temperatures don't stay below freezing for more than a week at a time. They are summer residents to the east of the Cascades and Sierra Nevada mountains and occasional winter visitors from southeastern Arizona to Texas. They are early nesters, late December into May. They have expanded from their historic coastal California range to follow winter blooming landscaping and hummingbird feeders north and east. They are still expanding their range. Males are unusual in singing from an exposed perch. The song is a rising and falling buzzy squeaking, lasting seven seconds or more. These are larger than ruby-throated, rufous, and black-chinned hummingbirds but still smaller than most other birds. As with most hummingbirds, they have a large round head that sits without obvious neck on a plump body. The tail is short. When perched, the tail often extends slightly beyond the wingtips. The bill is long, thin, tubular, and rather straight. Both genders are green above, and the underparts are gray, generously speckled with green on the flanks. Males in full breeding plumage have an iridescent pink throat, face, and crown. The edge of the throat feathers may flare out. Immature males have the ruby pink restricted to the throat and advancing over the forehead. Females have gray throats, usually with a patch of iridescent green feathers in the lower center. They feed on spiders and insects and nectar, especially hummingbird feeders. Lesser goldfinches are the southwestern counterparts of the more northerly American goldfinches. These birds are year-round residents from southwestern Washington, south through California to Texas, and south into South America. In summer, they move northward from central Oregon to Colorado. They are found in oak woodlands, weedy fields, chaparral, and desert habitats, especially near water, but also residential areas. These birds are found in flocks through most of the year, pairing up in spring. Find them near sources of water. They often feed on flower seeds and even dandelion seeds right on the ground. They are much smaller than house sparrows. They are smaller even than American goldfinches. They have long bodies and short forked tails. The head is quite round. The bill is triangular, short and pointed with a broad base. Males are entirely bright yellow below. The wings are blackish with a pale lower wing bar and broad white wing bases to the primaries. The upper parts vary 
Western males are green above with a black cap. Texas birds tend to have entirely black upper parts. Many are somewhat in between. Unlike American goldfinches, the plumage of lesser goldfinches remains bright all year long. Females and immatures are rather brownish green above, yellowish below. They have pale edges on the wing coverts and tertials. At your feeder, lesser goldfinches love niger seed and black oil sunflower seeds. They are also attracted to bird baths. Gila woodpecker. Gila woodpeckers are boisterous and common birds of the Sonoran Desert. These birds are year-round residents in southern Arizona and south into western Mexico. They barely reach into southern California and southwestern New Mexico. They associate strongly with the saguaro cactus in which they nest and the fruit of which they eat in summer. They are also well adapted to living in desert towns. These are active birds flying and chasing and calling often and loudly. They drill holes in just about everything, palm trees, wooden telephone poles, house siding, even stucco. They are a bit larger than starlings. They have a stocky body, large head, and short wedge-shaped tail. The bill is long and chisel-shaped. These birds are tan-colored on the head and body with a faint yellow belly. The back, wings, and tail are barred with black and white. Males have a red cap on the crown. Gila woodpeckers will eat nuts, seeds, suet, and nectar from oriole and hummingbird feeders. House Finch House finches used to be only found in the west, but are now common at feeders coast to coast. These are year-round residents across the United States and Mexico. As their name suggests, they are common in residential yards across the United States. They are also found in canyon lands in the west. They are rare or absent in extensive grasslands or high mountains. These birds are found in flocks throughout the year. They give lively, warbled song and chirps. They may feed on the ground, but when frightened, they fly up into the higher parts of a tree to keep an eye on the intruder. Similar looking sparrows will dive into the nearest low cover and hide. House finches are smaller birds, a bit smaller than the widespread house sparrows. They often appear long and slim, with a rounded head and medium long tail that has a shallow notch. The bill is short and thick at the base. The upper ridge of the bill is curved. Males are streaky gray-brown on the upper parts. The sides and flanks are streaked broadly with brown lines. These red-headed finches have red or red-orange concentrated on their foreheads and eyebrow stripe, upper chest, and rump. Females are rather streaky, as the males, without any red color. Their head is evenly marked with short streaks throughout, not showing any pattern. House finches love black oil sunflower seeds from tube feeders. Morning Dove The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, an open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small, as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing cover. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges, best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.